بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح علی صدری و یسلی حمری و اہل العبدت المسانی جف کو پولی مائی لیکچر ٹوڈے از اباؤٹ یوزنگ کین لیئر ٹیوٹوریل آف کین پیو سافٹ ویئر دس از اے ٹیوٹوریل آف کین لیئر بیکاز دس از فار سالونگ فلیکسیبل پیومنٹ اسٹرکچر دیٹس وائی even though uh, the whole software is can pay but i'll be taking uh, i'll be giving tutorial on the calendar part so let's see how to solve it this is the example now this example is has been taken from the book uh, and there are one reason one reason is that uh, we have we make i want to make Uh, totally sure whatever the answer we are getting from the example in the book uh, should match from the output of the software and uh, secondly uh, logically this seems to be not workable in kenler software uh, if you look in the ordinary uh, circumstances so that's why uh, this the purpose is to solve this example Now let's see what happens is that we have been given a single uh, half space subject to two circular load. Now this two circular load means the dwell wheel, tire, dwell wheel of any vehicle. Uh, so the, that's why we have two uniform distributed loaded and uh, they are these wheels are separated by 20 inch center to center its elasticity modulus is 10000 the tire pressure is 50 psi the total uh, you can say the diameter of the wheel is 10 inch so the uh, if we talk about the contact radius this will be 10 by 2 5 inches uh, we we are interested in the depth below Uh, one of the tires on the below center of the one of the tire and that's why we have been given 20 spacing uh, here the poisson ratio is supposed to be 0.5 uh, and the modulus is 10000 psi so if you open this after installation of the kenpf software uh, will have this window and as you can see it has three uh, uh we are since we are interested here is an asphalt that's why i've circled that and these will be the three obviously three and that fourth one will be using in this problem so we'll start by pressing this layer input and when once, once we press this you will have this window in which there are number of menus file general z coordinate layer interface model i load non linear viscoelastic and damage so we'll press the first the file menu and it says when we click file first then click new or for a new file to be created or old for old file to be edited so once we press file will be opened uh, it will take us to the place where canpave has been solved normally the c uh, c of your computer uh, the uh, the c drive of your computer and you select or you just uh, if you are new you just uh, press new in the input file once you do that you will open a general menu so once this you have opened this may be either new or in my case this is example 2.5 or since i have already solved this problem otherwise for a beginner this will be new then once you have done with it you will have again this menu and whenever you uh, do it press okay you will come to this menu this is a general menu and when you press this general menu you will be asked these uh to fill this column uh i've titled as example 2.1 this is page 49 of your book 
the type of material uh, here, this is a linear analysis. So we write one over here. The damage, we are not interested in knowing the damage analysis. That's why zero is the default. We are only interested in the first here. That's why one. We have only load group one. That's a dual tire only. That's why we have pressed right one. This is a tolerance of numerical integration, 0 0.001. And here, number of layers. This, this is a trick. Can, pay, can layer software does not take any layer more less than two. If you press one, then at the end, when you run the software, you will have no results. So deliberately, in this problem, even though it's it's a half homogeneous space, it hasn't got the layer, but we'll take this as two layer. And this is the trick uh, that we, uh, this, this is how we are going to solve it. There is no other way to solve 2.1 uh, by uh, not assuming it as one layer. So you can say this is the bug in the software as well. It does not take or it does not solve half uh, homogeneous problem. Number of Z coordinates, the, the depth below which you want to take. So there is uh, in the question you have seen that we have to take analyze, uh, we have to calculate the stresses at, uh, at 20 inch uh, or 10 inch depth. Uh, I can say it. Let me see. Oh, you get this. This is Z. Z is ten. That's why uh, we have taken this as one over here. Uh, this is a default. We will take. Uh, we are only knowing uh, because we have been asked to find the displacement. That's why I put one here. Otherwise, uh, default you can put nine as well. You can calculate all of this uh, number of. Uh, layer and bottom bond, we say yes, are all layers are bonded. This is an assumption. Number of layer for bottom tension, we say one because we have to analyze one layer only. Uh, so whatever tension is, is the compression as well. And the system of unit is zero. That's why since we are using an English unit. Then you have to press OK. Once you press OK, you will again show this window. Now you have to press Z coordinate. Once you press Z coordinate, you have to input and since your Z coordinate for 10, you just write 10 and press OK and get out of it. Press OK from here. Again, you will show, you will come to this window. Now you have to uh, input the layer values. So when you press this input, you will be shown this value. Now here you have to write the thickness. Uh, again, as because we have assumed this two layer, so what we have done is we have taken whatever is the response point or the Z value required, we have put, taken this as 10 as well. So that's, uh, that's another assumption. There's another uh, way of tackling such type of problem in Cal layer. Boson ratio we have taken as 0.5 that was given to us. Press OK, and then you will again show the mod lie values. Then when you press mod lie, then here, this is a trick again. If you will take the same mod years, then it will automatically be analyzed as a one layer or half space. That, that's the trick behind it. So that's how, if, if you've, you have to take only E modulus because we have only been given E modulus one value. So that's why we have taken uh, this is 10,000 same. So this is another, uh, this again the trick to solve this problem, nothing else. Press OK. Then you have to find the load. When you press load, you will be open this window. This is for because we say, Zero for single axle and single tire. One for single axle with two tire. So since we have two tires, that's why we have pressed one over here. The contract radius, as I have shown you, the problem is for five inch. 
uh, because 10 was the whole diameter contact pressure. The Q was given to us 50 psi, and the spacing between the tire is always Y W. Uh, in spacing between the two tires. So it's two inches, and since it's in a single axle, that's why XW is zero. If it could have been double axle or tandem axle, there should be a value of XW. Since in the problem we have been given only single axle, that's why two. And then we need to have NR or NPT. So what you do once you have done this, then you have to press, you have to give the point of the responses as well. So you will not going to exit here. Uh, you have to write one here and then you have to double click in this box. Once you double click, you will be shown this video. And again, that's X is zero to us and Y is the same uh, as that's because it's a dual axle. That's why I have written over 20. Now you press OK and since there are no reds are shown further, so it means your data input has been over. And you will just have to save this file, either save or save as. You can use both of them. Uh, and in the next step, you need to press exit. Once you've done this, then you have to press the scan layer button. And you have to click this box. After clicking, you will be open this file. Note this point. This is where the comment is. If you have problem have been solved, you will be shown this value. Your text message output is stored in a file called this this. On page, you can click the editor button to open the file. If you have done if there is an error in your data input, it says your analysis is incomplete. And you have to again do your analysis. You have to again go to this data. And then you will come. So just press OK button. Then you come to editor. And once you find the, uh, uh, click the editor, you will be showing the location of the file. Select the name of the file that you have saved. Click in the box and select the save file. And once you do this, this is your the results uh, that you sold and uh, the whatever the data you have analyzed and have put. And this is the point you will find. The answer is 0 0.02184. And if you go to that page 49 of your book, you will find the same answer. So that matches, means that the whatever problem you have solved is correct. Now, another thing you can do is to know what problem is solved. You have to click in this box and you will find that this is the problem. Uh, there is a contact rate is 5, contact pressure 50. Uh, this is a plan that two wheels are 20 inches apart that we know. And this is the depth, 10 inches. You have analysis at this point. Uh, and this is of the section that you have analyzed. So that's how you are going to solve this problem. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we'll inshallah solve more problems scalar and get it back to you.